What is going on YouTube? Up and Adam here and today we have another Madden 22 video. Today we're going to be going over who you should take as your free 88 overall ultimate kickoff player. So you are able to earn up to four free ultimate kickoff players which are 88 overalls and I'm going to go through who I would recommend you picking. Obviously this is just my recommendation if you have other players in mind obviously go with your first choice but I will give you a breakdown of who I, I believe are the best ones and then you could go from there. Anyways, let's jump into this video, but before we do that, make sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn those noti bells on for more Madden content. All right, let's go. So we got the ultimate kickoff, all right? So we got a lot of stuff going on here. We have the opportunities to get free 88s. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to do that in this video because I just made a video the last couple of days. So I'll post a link down below to how to get your four free 88 ultimate kickoff players, but let's jump into who you should pick as your free ultimate kickoff player. So here are your choices. As you can see on the screen, we are on MuttGG like we always are. They got a great website, but we got all of these ultimate kickoff players. They're all 88 overalls. There's, there's like two and a little bit pages here, and I'm gonna break down who you should pick and why. So I got, a, I got a pretty long list and obviously you can change it depending on what you need for your team. But remember, a lot of the players that you are going to get are going to be non auctionable and non tradable and non collectible. So you're only going to be able to quick sell them or power them up in the future. So we got to think ahead a little bit as well. So the first one I have on the list is going to be this Adrian Amos. He's not, I'm not going to say he's like the best user or even close to being the best user. Obviously we have quite really good ones. This is okay if you're looking for like a free card now where you don't want to go spend like the 40 50 000 on like Adderley or spending a lot of coins on like more expensive safeties it's not too bad an 88 speed you can power him up if you need to there is he does have his power but it's not too expensive i believe it's only uh, like 2,000 coins or something like that so it's not too expensive get him up to like an 89 speed plus if you have any chems on it you could possibly get him to a 90 speed not too bad his jumping is a little bit low, six feet tall, but if you need a user, this isn't a bad budget card, especially for free if you get when you do your solos, okay? So there's my first one. But the next the next few I want to talk about is O-line. I think if you're gonna pick any card from these from this promo, these 88, I think you should go with O-line because they could be used as like depth players as well if you get like upgrades throughout the year. You know, a lot of them, a lot of the time, like O-line gets they get upgraded and they get pretty expensive. So I think with your like non auctionable non-tradable, non-collectible, I think O-line is great. We got this card, we got Eric Fisher. Okay, left tackle. You can see some of his blocking stats. His run blocking is not bad. Um, his lead blocking is okay. His pass block is a little bit low. So if you're gonna be passing a little bit more, I would say maybe don't go with Eric Fisher. But we got also got Alex Mack. Okay, Alex Mack's got 89 run block. Um, Pass blocking is only an 82, but like I said, there's there's a lot of like there's a lot of cards that you can grab. There's a bunch of people on the O line. We also have Corey Lindsay. All right, his pass blocking is way better at 89. So if you're gonna be passing the ball a lot, this might be a decent card. His run blocking is also high, but this Corey Lindsay is not too bad. Power him up. He can stay in your lineup for quite a while too, like an 88 at center. All you really need right now, especially early on, and it's free. You don't have to worry about like doing anything with it so that's why I'm, I'm saying go o-line i this joe tooney as well pass blocking solid run blocking is okay but i personally i picked joe tooney and alex mack for my for the no money spent team which you'll a little teaser for uh, the next episode but and they've been playing pretty well for me again i won't have to upgrade upgrade my o-line for a little while now and i'm pretty happy with that because o-line does get expensive it's not really a fun position to up like upgrade so that's why I, I, I'm saying like if you if you are gonna decide on any players, I definitely recommend O-line just because there's a there's a bunch of options and all the other cards aren't aren't the best like compared to like all the other skill positions. So that's why I'm saying go with O-line. Something like this Kevin Zeitler as well. Uh, pass blocking is pretty high, run blocking is eh, a little meh, but you can see there, not a bad card either. Okay, team teams and stuff like that. And then if you really want another player and you don't really want O-line, that is fine. This uh, Gerald Everett is not bad. Six foot three, 86 speed. If you need a, if you need another tight end on your team, like as a backup, if you're running, uh, if you're running a two tight end set, 
this is not a bad card to get. Again, it's still not as good as Pitts, not as good as like Jimmy Graham. There's some other really good tight ends in the game. So again, if, like, if, like I said, if you need like a position and you want a second or a third uh, tight end, this is not a bad option here. One of the better options of cards. This David Moore at wide receiver is okay. He's got some decent speed if you want to like use him. Honestly, like as like a, if you're like a no money spent and you need uh, some extra wide receivers, but we did a lot of us already got really good receivers with like Tyreek in the game. There's like Brandon Marshall. There's a ton of receivers already in the game, like that Deshaun Jackson and and the Devin Hester now in the game as well. So I don't know if receivers are really gonna be needed, especially at the skill position where you can't auction it and you can't trade it and you can't collect it not my best choice if you need a running back even though i don't recommend taking a running back from this program at all it might be this giovanni bernard all right he's 5'9 he's got 86 speed his um spin moves are all right because spin moves are pretty good in the game his chain of direction is not bad either but again nothing special about this card i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna i'm gonna keep it pretty gonna be pretty honest um not bad um, but this card I, I do want to talk about, this Matthew Stafford. The reason why he's on the list is because a lot of people are using that Daniel Jones because of his speed, all right, because he's, a, he's pretty good. But this Matthew Stafford is a strong arm QB. A lot of the pros in the MCS tournaments were using like Josh Allen or Matthew Stafford, his 80 overall card, because he is strong arm, so he could get that ball, like he could throw the ball faster, okay? Um, I know he doesn't have Gunslinger, he was like one, I believe he was one overall show, short, I want to say. Yeah, but honestly, not a bad card, he's got a throw power, is really solid. I've heard really, really good things about him, I personally haven't used him yet, but because he is strong arm, he will throw that ball faster and the ball will get to the, the receiver a lot quicker. So that's why people are deciding to go with this Matthew Stafford for now until we get a better QB with Gunslinger moving forward. And then my last one is going to be this Desmond Trufant. He is a cornerback, six feet tall. His jumping is an 87. His speed's at 89. You could put some strategy cards on him. I think this could be a, a decent card to have on your team. Again, we have so many great corners in the game right now that this card kind of like goes lower on the list for me just because we do have a lot of good cornerbacks in the game right now, especially with that Campus Hero program that came out. I added a bunch. And they play really, really solid. But again, this is not a bad card with that 89 speed, especially if you have strategy items on it. Maybe a theme team. This could be a really decent card for you. So those are my choices as of right now. Again, that's completely up to you. But those those are going to be my top... I don't know how many cards that was. But those, if you have to get... You, have, you need options at the who you want to decide on getting for the ultimate kickoff. Because you do get four free ones. So like I said, I'll post a video. I'll post a link to the video, sorry about how to get your four free ultimate kickoff players. I already added two of them to my team uh, on the no money spent squad. So that one is going really well. Hopefully this was informative. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video. I know I've been putting out like who you should pick or like best tight ends and all that stuff. And I think you are enjoying it and it's helpful. So I'll continue to post these as long as you hit that like button down below. So I know that you're enjoying them. Anyways, I'll catch you with another video very soon. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and turn those notifications on, and I'll catch you with another one.